In this video, I will show you how to put a point on a polar plane. So at this at this moment, we are using polar coordinates. So polar coordinate is no longer x comma y. Polar coordinate is r comma theta. R is the directed distance, and then theta is the angle. So first of all, uh, before we start, uh, it is hard. Unlike the x y plane, it is hard to set up your own uh, polar plane. So every time I use a polar plane, I will just download a polar plane online and then use that on my teaching and then my uh, assignment. So this is the best polar plane I found online because it has the uh, theta in both degree and radian. So in this video, I want to keep the, the R positive, the directed distance positive. I want to know, I want to see what happened if I use a positive angle. What happened? if I use a negative angle. So first of all, for a positive angle, we have to spin counterclockwise. So and then I also gave you a circle of what counterclockwise looks like. So the first one is r equals to 4. And then theta is equals to pi over 3. So r is equals to 4. So let's scale the plane. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then pi over 3 is right here, right? So you go clockwise so from pi over 4 to 3. This is where you have to stop and then you put a point right there. And then what is R represent? The R represent from the origin to that point, the length is equals to 4. All right. And then the next one is when R is equals to 6. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then the angle is 5 pi over 6. Where is 5 pi over 6? 5 pi over 6 is right here so that means starting at six starting at zero degree r equals to six i have to rotate to that uh to that mark so let's start the rotation stop so and then here is my point uh what is r equals to six represent r equals to six is from the origin to the point so that is r equals to six and then this point represent r equals to 6, angle equals to 5 pi over 6. Uh, sometimes they don't give you 5 pi over 6, sometimes they give you 150 degree. That's why I prefer to use this uh, polar plane because I can see both the radian and the degree. In some polar plane, they don't mark the polar planes at all. In some polar plane, they only give you the degree. In some polar planes, they only give you the radian. This is the best because it has both. And then the next one is 8, 3 pi over 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And then where is 3 pi over 2? 3 pi over 2 is right over here, right? The 270 degree. So you start at 8 and then you stop at this point. So start at 8 and then you do the rotation. And then you stop. So that is where you terminate and then r equals to 8 is from 0 to that point. And then this one you can draw an arrow. So that's represent counterclockwise. So this one you can draw an arrow to counterclockwise and counterclockwise. So that makes everything super clear. And then the last one is r is equals to 3. So 0, 1, 2, and 3. And then 7 pi over 4. 7 pi over 4 is in quadrant 7 7 pi over 4 is in quadrant 4 almost missed it so 3 so you have to start at 3 and then you rotate and then you stop at 7 pi over 4 so which is right here right and then we draw an arrow that stands for counterclockwise and then r is equals to 3 so that will be this directed distance from zero, not from zero, from the origin to that point. So this one is, so in this video, I just explained, I keep the R positive. What happened if I use positive angle? What happened if I use negative angle? And so far, I only explain positive angle. So on the next page, let's take a look at negative angle. So what we are trying to do right now is, I am going to change all the theta from positive to negative. So that will be my next part. So I'm now I just change them to all negative. So let's see what happened if I change them to negative. So if you change that to a negative, you have a negative angle that you have to go clockwise. All 
all right the first one is r equals to 4 0 1 2 3 4 so this time we are going from 0 and then to this direction right clockwise okay pi over 3 so pi over 3 the positive pi over 3 is supposed to be 60 degree if you use negative pi over 3 then you have to use negative 60 degree so that means from 0 you have to go down 60 degrees so go down 60 degrees so that will be 360 minus 60 equals to 300 so that will be right here from 4 and then you have to stop right here so from 4 and then you stop right there so here is the point that represent uh, counterclockwise and then uh, r equals to 4 is from the origin to that point and then the next one is 6, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then negative 5 pi over 6. Let's find the positive 5 pi over 6. Positive 5 pi over 6 is right there. It's 150 degree. However, the 150 degree is counterclockwise. Since you have a negative, you have to go down first. You have to go this direction uh, clockwise. So that means we have instead of 5 pi over 6, we have to stop at 7 pi over 6. Uh, how do I get the 7 pi over 6 so fast? Because this is one step, two step from the 180. So if you think the other way, then that will be one step, two steps in the other direction. All right. So now let's spin. So from, C, from uh, 0 and then we go all the way to here and then we draw a point. So this arrow represents clockwise and then R equals to 6 is the directed distance from the origin. To that point the next one is eight so zero one two three four five six seven eight the, the last circle and then past the three pi over two is right here so for past the pi over two we go this way right and then we stop right here but for negative pi over two we have to go this way so this is half circle half circle is 180 degree plus additional 90 degree so that means we go like this and then stop right here so we go like that so that is 180 degree and then plus another 90 degree so that means the point is right here and then this represent clockwise and then r equals to a is the direct distance from the origin to that point and then uh three zero one two and three let's find seven pi over four seven pi over four is right here so that is you go from zero and then all the way to 315 degree but for the counterclockwise you have to go the other way you have to go um from zero and then you you go down and then you stop at quadrant one so this is over four right so that means we have to stop right here and then three three is here right so this is the point that we are looking for but the direction that we have to the correct direction is this and then stop from the origin to this point is r equals to three and then that is negative seven pi over four all right so in this video i just keep the r positive and then i explain positive angle and negative angle in the next video what we are trying to do is I will also explain positive angle and negative angle, but I want to explain what happened when the directed distance r is negative, all right, in the next video. So that will be all in this one. If you think this instruction is helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate your help. Signing out for now. See you in the next one.